Now for the show that's truly too hot to handle. It's the melting pack, and it starts right now. You're listening to the melting pack. Here's your host, Pat Johnson. Well, thank you, Jerome. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the show, The Melting Pat, the Next Level Network. Today is a very special day. I'm doing this uh, well ahead of time, and so far ahead of time, in fact, that I haven't even had the conversation yet. It's it's going to happen in like a half hour, but I figured, hey, I need some. I have time now, so I might as well get this part out of the way and uh, get it ready. Does that, does that make sense? For me, it does. Anyway, hope you're well. Hope everything's going great in your world, and... Um, yeah, things could be better for me, but uh, we don't need to talk about that because we have our, our dear friend, I don't know where I was going to go with that, but we have our friend Fry McDunstan returning to the program today to promote his new EP called Joyce. By the time you hear this, it is out. By the time, well, at the time we are talking, it is not. But by the time everything comes out in a nice little bow, uh, the, the EP will be available for you to get to do, stream, buy, whatever you want to do. However you do that, it should be available to for you to do all right all right that's i don't know what's happening let me fix my chair hold on i feel like i'm talking i was talking up at the microphone and that was kind of weird it felt weird this feels better i don't have the new chair yet by the way it's coming on friday so um the holiday show should be the first one to be recorded in the new chair i think if it works out anyway pat that's nothing to do what does that have to do with fry nothing nothing at all i'm just telling you what's going on um yeah so fry is here Fry McDunstan, FryMcDunstan.com. I think that's what it is. P-H-R-Y-M-C-D-U-N-S-T-A-N. I hope I did that right. I was not looking at his name. Sorry, Fry. The link will be in the show notes at TheMeltingPat.com. You can spell that one, right? All right, I'm not going to spell it. The Melting Pat. It's the name of the show. And then .com at the end. And all the links will be uh, to Fry stuff will be in the show notes as well as the website. So there you go with that. Um, so yeah, that's the show today is we're going to have our chat. I'm going to wrap all the stuff up and then the end of the show will be the song, which I think is choice. I think it's the title track from the EP. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. It's the only one that I have right now. So I can't imagine he's going to want me to go in blind, but we'll see it. So it might be choice. Maybe I'll surprise you later. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, hasn't happened yet. We're going to work on it, uh, right now. Well, in 20 minutes or so. So that is the plan for today. Um, oh, before we do that, though, we are so we're doing that. That's the the main part of the episode. But also, we should hear from the captain, unless he's busy, and that's fine. But if he's not, then good sir, let us know what's up with the fly guys. The floor for now it is yours. Take it away. Hey, Flyers fans, Mark back at you again with another Flyers. Ooh. Your Philadelphia Flyers have gotten points in every game they have played in the month of December. Now, if I was recording this a couple of days ago, I could say they were undefeated still in December, but ended up losing that game in overtime on Tuesday. It was it was tough to see, but the Flyers, whoa, let's get into the recap and see what they've been up to. So the Flyers ended up going out to Phoenix and beating the Coyotes 4-1 to Thursday night. It was a complete game from start to finish. Flyers fouled that up on Saturday, beating the Avalanche 5-2, to then going to Nashville, their third game on the road, ended up losing that game 3-2 to in overtime, as I said. Now they're taking on the Capitals tonight at home, then they're going to be taking on the Red Wings at home on Saturday, then they're going a little over and up to our neighbor taking on the Devils on Tuesday night over in their rink. So the Flyers, like I said, they have been getting points in every single game they played in December. This team, hey, they do have stretches, and I'll be the first to admit, I might be getting a little too excited too quickly. They do have stretches, and they have had these stretches in the past few seasons where they will get 
points. They'll get hot at certain points, and then they will become ice cold. So let's see what they can do. But Carter Hart has been playing well. Sam Ernson has been playing well. Travis Sanheim, second on the team in points, and Travis Konechny just pulling the weight like he expected he was expected to do all season so let's see what the Flyers can do and see if they can keep this point streak going because hey I'm excited for any kind of thing that they can do right now so guys that's it for me here inside the melting pot on next level radio there you have it. Thank you, my friend. The Melting Pat, the Next Level Network. Just in case he was too busy doing stuff, and that's okay. Maybe I should have given him the day off. No, no. No, it's it's all right. Fry, do you mind that you're preceded by the captain, that he's your lead-in? Is that okay with you? I, th- <laughs> I think we'll all be fine. So there you go. Flyers doing well, maybe, or they're not. I don't know. Like I said, this is not coming out for like a week and a half as, I'm, as I sit here talking to you. So I have no idea what the Flyers are doing or even what I'm doing as you're listening right now. So there we go. (laughs) So there we go. All right. TheMeltingPat.com for all of my things. That's where you find the thing. Sign up for the Patreon, the newsletter, the other things that you want. Um, You can sign up for updates from the website. So when you, um, sorry, so when I share an update, post a thing on the website, do you get that right to your email? It's, um, you know, I'm disappointed that Google discontinued the RSS feed feature the google reader i believe it was called several years ago now and they were like hey hey what what can we do instead and they're like we don't have anything at this time and that's still on the page like hey do you have an update on that can you is there an alternative that we can use and they're like no haha good luck so there we go (laughs) so if you want to get an update when i post a, a thing on the website whether it's show notes whether it's something else let me sign up there i was going to say let me know you can let me know as well and I will put your email address on the list, and you can get that um, at usually noon Eastern on um, on the day it comes up, if I get it done in time. So there you go. That's how you do that. No G love today, but check them out anyway at philadelphonic.com. And uh, there's a network tab at themeltingpat.com for all of our other shows. I just hit the desk with my knee. That actually that hurt way more. I hit a weird spot. That hurt way more than it should have. Uh, <laughs> way more than, than I thought it would. Oh, man, that's uncomfortable. Anyway. That's all for me now, right? We're good? Yes? All right. Oh, I, I should have... Ah, damn it. Maybe I'll try it anyway. I was going to try to do the... Because uh, last year, I said, Hey, Fry, can you teach me how to say crap open a cold one in German? And uh, I forgot to do it when I talked to him. And fittingly, I forgot to pull it up again. I was going to go to break with that. And uh, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me uh, let me pause. And uh, Well, I won't pause. I'm just going to edit out the silence. And I'm going to look it up and see if I can say it again like I did last year. Hold on. Maybe I'll cut all of that out. I don't know, but I want to look this up anyway. Maybe it'll be like, oh, hey, look what I just thought of right now. Utsoftis, my friends, and here is my... (laughs) There's no better way to to go to break, right? To a chat with Fry, is there? Utsoftis, my dear friends, and here is me once again with Fry McDunstan. That was awkward. That was an awkward, like, pause. We really had to wait five whole seconds. That was a... That's too much for, for audio. That's too much to wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a great way to start. Fry McDustin is here. <laughs> and you are, uh, well, I mean, I'm in pretty bad shape. But you, it feels like you're in worse shape. Other than, you know, having to do this standing. You're you're good, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'm I'm okay. Like uh, uh, like we talked a bit earlier before the recording, my, my back is... Currently is a real mess, and I have to do lots of uh, exercises to get through the day. But I'm very confident um, that it'll be over soon because I also I, I have a great physiotherapist, and um, we're working on it. And um, well, I'm always up for a challenge. And you could just go to a doctor and be seen, right? You don't have to worry about. You know referrals and oh boy calling around Trust and all me. that like I've, I I've do. been I've seen I've seen several doctors over uh, the the past two years and um, some some were better than others but none were really able to help me because um, how how can I say this, say this I mean our health system is not what it used to be 
it got privatized over the past couple of uh, decades and kind of modeled after the American healthcare system, no. which is a no. bad thing. No, <laughs> no, that's I'm dealing with a thing right now, dude. It's the worst. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it used to be better when I was a kid, but um, they've privatized so many things, and now it's it's. I mean, we usually have free healthcare here, but if you want to go see a real good uh, doctor or in my case a great physiotherapist you uh, most of the time you, you have to pay it um, you have to pay them yourself which is what I'm currently doing and um, yeah it's um, I'm, I'm really happy and, and lucky that I found a great therapist but I can't see her um, as, as, as often as I, I'd like to because it's it's expensive <laughs> So you got to pay out of pocket every time you go see this specialist? Yeah. Wow. Well, and it's well, like probably I, several I mean, hundred bucks. I I I've seen others for for free, but um like the the stuff she sent me during our first session was so much more worth it uh than everything I've been told before by the the other therapists that I've seen that uh I didn't have to pay for that I'm okay with it, you know? Uh, I, I can't see her, like, every week, but I do what she tells me to, and um, she's given me so much valuable information that I, I can use for probably the rest of my life, and that's okay. All right, so everybody, uh, join Fry's Patreon or Inner Circle or <laughs> uh, whatever it is. Get him some more money so you can see this good doctor again and again. And again, <laughs> yeah, that that would be great. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have to have a GoFundMe for a non-American for medical expenses, but here we are. Yeah, it's come to this. Wow. So even your even your country's going to hell, man. Here I well, thought it was. Hey, we're we're in a bad spot, but at least over there I could talk to you about good stuff. And now, no, <laughs> we're all the same. <laughs> Yeah, it's um it's it's gotten really I mean it's it's still not as bad as um in, in other countries, but privatizing things is never a good idea. It's never um for the um benefit of the customer. It's always for the benefit of those people who don't need the money anyways. Yes. Yeah, for the benefit of those at the top who who don't need another ten million dollars. Right. From you. People like you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry you're going through that. Uh, but also, you're maybe you could be a dual citizen now. Welcome to America. That's really, <laughs> I think you're you're well on your way. I mean, I always wanted to um, at least visit the United States, and um, yeah, now would be the, the now would be the time to do that. <laughs> But uh, um, I think I, I couldn't. I couldn't handle the flight. Probably like sitting down for like eleven hours would be would be killing me. Literally. Can you just lie in the cargo bed? Would they let you do that? <laughs> yeah, with a couple of animals down there, like with a couple of pets. <laughs> so how how would they like? How would they medically accommodate you on a flight? Like, is there a way, man? Yeah, I mean those very comfortable um, first class seats that you can like adjust and tilt back however you you want them to uh, to to be. That that would be nice. All right, so uh, that's two things for Fry's GoFundMe is his uh, his medical bills and his trip to America, so he can get the full experience of still having to pay for his healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. And your food will be. The most terrible food, but delicious food you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go back with a heart condition. You'll be fine, though. It'll be great. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm into that stuff. That's that's my guilty pleasure. Whenever I I have a cheat day or a cheat meal, I go straight for burgers and pizza. Love that. So stuff. have you have you had to curb the cheating with your inability to work out? Yeah, I have. Uh, I'm I'm like eating clean all the time now because I don't Ugh. want to get fat. Ew. <laughs> Although I, I had a I had a bag of popcorn the other day. <laughs> like very sugary popcorn. <laughs> that, <laughs> With caramel. That is uh that's wow. You're that's sad. That the uh the the extent of your cheating now, so you don't get a dad bod like me is <laughs> 
having caramel popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love that stuff, and it's uh, it's such a great snack. I mean, um, I, I've heard that it's great for your uh, digestive system, and so uh, I don't feel too guilty when I when I eat a bag of popcorn. I'm not sure that's true. Oh yeah, they say like the the um, like those pieces that are also uh, always uh, stick in your between your teeth, like even days later, that they kind of clean up your intestines because they. Uh, they are harder to digest, and so they 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 scrub the whole thing clean, and uh, it, it it sounds it sounds logical at least. It sounds made up, but also <laughs> I like popcorn, so I I'll believe it. You yeah, know go what? for I it. I was skeptical, but uh, <laughs> I think I'll believe you. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's uh, it's a good excuse to to have a, a bag of popcorn uh, every now and then. <laughs> Yes, correct. Good, good reason to be like, hey, hey, I'm having a digestive problem. I'm gonna go. You're not gonna go for the Pepto Bismol. You're not gonna go yeah. for the whatever. No, no. Give me a bag of goddamn popcorn. Let's right. let's get this taken care of. <laughs> the natural way. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> yes, loaded with sugars and fats. The natural way. The again, you might actually be an American in disguise. I think you're. That's a very American line of thinking. <laughs> well, welcome to the team. God bless you. Good luck voting. Have fun. Oh, um, I haven't, I haven't, like, I probably shouldn't say this, but like, there's one candidate uh, I really, I would really support, like, like one American presidential candidate I would really support and be happy to vote for him. It's me. It's me. Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Are yeah. you running? <laughs> I mean, I'm old enough to run now. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, how uh, how old uh, do you have to be to to be able to run? Thirty five. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and and the front runners for the American presidential election for next year are both in their eighties. So yeah, <laughs> you know, not ideal, not great. Right. But uh, yeah, but the but the song I'm going to play. I we should have talked about this before, but who cares? Mm -hmm. uh, your new so okay. When this airs, the EP will be out. Choice will be out. This is coming out yes. on the sixteenth. Um, no, on the eighth. In two days. From now, yeah. No, no, my episode's coming out the sixth. Like this chat, ah, okay, it's yeah, coming out the sixteenth. Yeah. yeah, so right. your EP is coming out the eighth, right? So we're in a weird spot, but scheduling—it's just how it works. So <laughs> it's not out yet, but it'll be out by the time the show comes up. Um, so the EP is called Choice, mm -hmm. and we're gonna play the title track. And I saw the video, and like for. Two seconds, I was like, man, look at Fry getting all those extras. And then I looked at it more <laughs> closely. Oh, no, that's that's fake. That's AI. So what, <laughs> did you make that choice to do an AI video before the song came? Like you wanted to do one anyway? Or did you have this song and go, this is what the video should be. Here's how we're going to do it. Um, I had a concept in mind. It was a little different than um, what the the video now turned out to be. Um, since the song is about people losing their trust in uh, legacy media and like old school politicians and turning towards more and more towards alternative sources and, and more trustworthy leaders, I wanted to pick a couple of great interviews from uh, people who have like quote unquote destroyed legacy media people in their interviews like these legendary ones uh like the the one uh from Jordan Peterson with that um woman from uh Channel 6 News that's that's now a couple of years old or the one where Elon Musk um talks to this guy from the BBC and completely obliterates him and I wanted to also use AI and and kind of have like Elon Musk and and Peters and like seeing the lyrics to uh to their interviewers but uh that would have probably given me like a couple of copyright strikes and so um I had to like uh, rethink the whole concept and then I uh discovered Runway's new Gen 2 AI it's such a cool thing because it does text to video like it gives you a little box and you can just type in what you want to see and then it generates a four second video out of that and so i i i 
just made the the entire video with with that tool. That sounds awesome. Is this a free tool or is this like a you you got a subscription for a thing? Yeah, you can subscribe to it or you okay. can just simply buy a certain amount of credits, but it's fairly cheap. I think that video and the one that's coming out in two days, which I also um, did with the same AI, both videos combined cost me like, I think, 45 euros. Okay. That's, that's fairly cheap. Like For, for our American for friends, I'm going to do this right now. 45 euros to dollars. Oh, just under 50 bucks. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what exchange rates are. I'm like, I'm too dumb for this, Fry. I, it's I almost the. It's it's now it's almost the same. same. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I, I, I thought it'd be a lot. Uh, it'd be a little more uh, distant, but it's yeah, forty eight dollars and forty six cents. By the way, is the exact oh cool conversion from Google that I just found in two seconds. Um, yeah, I don't know those things off the top of my head, Fry. No idea. Me neither, but I, I, I kind of know that it's um, roughly the same because I get billed in dollars and then I have to, to convert it to euros because like it's an American company. So I think I, I bought like three $15 packages or, or something. So it, it, it was actually like $45, not euros. Oh, wow. That's for what you were able to make. And I've only seen one because mm -hmm. the other one's not out yet. But for what you were able to do, I would say that's a pretty fair like... You know, it seems like there's a lot going on and you probably had a whole like a, a script instead of just a, a little prompt, but you probably had a whole thing, right? So to be able to script out your whole idea and have it shoot, have it spit back at you for yeah. under 50 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it was not even it was not even that it was not it was not even scripted. I kind of came up with everything on the spot and then there there was there was a couple of uh, like uh, trial and error ones that like the ai gives you like four um preview pictures of what you wanted to see and then you can choose one or all four of them and then have them animated and once you you have them animated um uh, it'll cost you credits but what sometimes uh happens is that the animation is a bit faulty and and glitchy and then you still have to pay for it so there were a couple of um, animations that I couldn't use because they looked too weird, and then I had to um, do them again. But um, the the great thing is, um, I usually even when we when we shoot something um, like for real, I always come up with stuff on the spot. And even though I I maybe have a rough idea or like a short script, I like to be more spontaneous. And with the AI, um, that gave me a lot of freedom to to be even even more spontaneous. Because like when whenever I had a cool idea of what I wanted to see, or when I when I wanted to change the concept a bit, um, it just let me do it. That's really cool. And you know, people are down on AI, and in some cases, rightfully so. Like there are some ways where AI is going to be maybe not a good thing for yeah. people. Let's just keep it kind of simple here, people losing jobs to technology. And that's not a good thing, right? But the mm -hmm. fact that we can sit as creatives can sit here, like I'm ever going to do this, but <laughs> like the <laughs> fact that we can go and have, I actually might, I'm going to look into this. Um, yeah. We can come with a, with a little idea and instead of having to find a space to shoot and find extras and find, you know, cameras and lighting and, and things like that, things that would, like, it'd be awesome but it's a lot of times it's not practical, right? To be able to to block out, have everyone involved, 10, mm -hmm. 20, 30 people block out five hours in a day to shoot a music video. Whereas I can just have this idea and let technology do the work and still come up with a, a finished product that is at or near what my idea is. And it took less time and and effort to get it to the people who want to see it. Right. And I, I, I'm still not too afraid of um, it uh, replacing like creative, like creative people, like I don't know, designers or even musicians. Because a lot of times it, it spits out something that's so bad that they're not going to buy that it's real. Yeah, right. And it's still, it's still, um, it still can't think the way a creative person could. Correct. So you you can use it as a tool and enhance maybe your your own ideas using it like if you're a graphic designer for instance you can 
uh, if you need something and you don't want to spend like 10 hours um, making it or animating it, but you want to combine it with something else that you already created, you can use the AI to have everything ready a little faster, stuff like that. Yeah, and if you're selling work, then that can be beneficial because like, hey, instead of this taking me eight hours, it took mm -hmm. me two. Right. And so now I can go do three more and then, you know, push that out and get the money from whatever you're doing. And, and your customers don't have to know that. Exactly. <laughs> you, can still, yeah. you can still charge them for eight hours of work. Well, um, sure. I if mean, you're it's smart. a little dishonest. You know, Fry, you really are. You might be a good American politician. You're, you're pretty dishonest over there, man. I'm, uh, you know, when you said there's one American politician you'd vote for, I'm not going to ask you who it is. I think I already figured it out. <laughs> no, no, it's... it's um, uh, he's not running for the Democrats or the Republicans. Okay. He's an independent candidate. Okay. Okay. That's probably worse. It's probably worse. <laughs> no, it's just that like, not to get, not to stray back there again, but yeah. the, the, the issue I have with an independent running is that we should already know who that is and know a ton about that person, like a year and a half before the election. And the fact that a lot of people don't know who it is is why that's never going to work. That's all. Yeah, I mean it's it's never been done before. I'm 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 curious and um maybe optimistic uh at the same time. Um I mean my opinion is also if if you live if you live a good life and if you take good care of yourself and your family, it doesn't really matter who's in office. Yeah, I mean, generally that's true. Yeah, because it it only like it only influences us on like uh, on on our level, not in in a manner that many people think. Otherwise, like four four years of a bad president would be catastrophic to so many people, and uh, it's often not the case. I mean, there's there's often mm -hmm. there's there's often cases uh of of people losing their jobs, for instance, because of some some mishap or or something like that, but. I mean, as a whole, unless, I mean, a person would start the Third World War or, or ah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> that, that would really mess, mess our lives up yep, like, on yep. the individual and, uh, scale. You know, just, uh, let's, let's just say this. There are certain people who would take things too far. Certain ideas and ideals would go too far because the guy at the top says it's okay. There we, all right, there we go. Let's, let's get yeah. back to the music. Okay. Anyway, AI. <laughs> I actually used AI to write uh, an episode of the show, and yeah, it ended I, up being I, just uh, actually saw that. Oh, thanks. Ended up being like just a segment, and it was like, man, no, like I get it. like it was fun. It was a fun yeah. little thing, but that's never going to replace somebody making a show because it's like this is the most right. generic. I <laughs> I I would never say any of this. Like you clearly didn't listen to. Like it doesn't. It only uses the information you can give it, right, or that, that it can access, right? And so mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it's pouring over episodes of the show or whatever you're doing. It's just, oh, these are the words that you use for, like, I just put in my description of the show. And I was right. like, oh, these are the words you used. Here are some things that might be related to that. I'm like, yeah, like, it was funny to do it. Like, I did it on the show, and it was fun. But I'm like, no one's going to actually buy that as a real show. Like, that's mm -hmm. not a thing, right? Yeah. But you can use it maybe um, like as an inspiration because I uh, I remember like when I started writing some of the lyrics for the EP, I actually um, turned to ChatGPT, but not for for the lyrics per se, but for a bit of input. Like, could you give me a great metaphor for this and that, or maybe um, maybe a way to describe something um, a little different from what I came up with, stuff like that. That's what it's good for. Yeah, that it can be really useful if you use it a certain way. But if you're trying to, like if someone is trying to replace a, a whole thing, it's not going to work because yeah. it's not going to yeah. be anywhere near the quality that a person can do. And like anyone who listens to it for more than eight seconds is going to go, hey, this is actually hot garbage. So, <laughs> but I, I, I signed up for, I don't remember the name of the website, but it's like you put an idea in and it's specifically for songwriting. And it was like, it's, you know, you put in an, an idea or like, if you have a verse, 
it'll spit back another verse or a chorus or something. Mm -hmm, And I mm -hmm. I was like, oh, let's just see what this is like. See, maybe it'll give me some ideas. And it did, but like I typed in a a simple concept for a song and it spit Mm -hmm. back like the worst crap like the worst pile of crap i've ever seen I'm like i i can't like nobody can sing this this is not a thing <laughs> that it, like nobody's gonna be like oh this is a great song like no this is clearly written by a computer program that was right. you know done by a 14 year old like this is so it was, i mean it was but, really but bad these yeah these ais are they're they're constantly learning and i mean in a couple of years from now who knows what they they'll be able to do i mean um like even a month after i finished the music videos for for my EP, uh, they updated the AI now, and the results are even better now. They're they're more realistic and um, not that wobbly anymore. Like I mean, if you if you watch the the choice video, it's uh, I always say like the AI kind of looks like or like its point of view is like from from a person uh, on acid <laughs> because it's so wobbly and it's morphing <laughs> so weird and um yeah they they even they even figured out how to fix that now so now it's like a playstation 2 game that's actually out instead of one being in beta right <laughs> right because <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is like a like an early to like mid 2000s kind of video game where mm-hmm. some of the things were like oh yeah it's a little a little squishy over here and maybe uh maybe now since you've you know uploaded your information to skynet they're using what you've done to be like hey we can do this and it's like i don't know that learning is the right word but that's that seems fine i guess but it's like it's adapting to new information but i don't i'm i don't know i'm hesitant to say that ai can learn i think that's kind of because that's like a very human thing but it's like uh you know the the technology can update based on the information it's given. Yeah, and I don't I don't know why learning is such a weird thing for me for AI, but I don't know. That's where I sit. Maybe I've watched too many Terminator movies. Yeah, I mean, I think it will be able to really learn and and even become self aware at one point. <laughs> and if it does, I'm I'm not really convinced that it would be like malicious because that's such a human thing. Like if it if it's really if it's really smart and um, once it starts evolving, it it'll be so fast that we can even uh, comprehend the speed and the velocity. Um, and I think its goal wouldn't be to to dominate like every life form on Earth, but I think more like uh, maybe to explore space, and then it would leave us probably because Earth is is boring compared to the vastness of the universe. <laughs> And why, like, if if imagine something like like highly intelligent and and really sophisticated, why would it want to be here if time for it doesn't really matter and it can just fly out into space and and be there for like the rest of eternity and get to see even more interesting places? Man, you make me want to go to space, right? I don't like yeah. to fly, but yeah, you know. Although it's different for a human to go to space, because like we still have anyway. Um, I I didn't think we're getting deep into AI and space travel here, but <laughs> geez, here we are, man. No, I just like it can only use what it's given, right? It, it can't. That's why I think that's why the word learn is is kind of weird for me, because like it can't pick up something on its own. Like it can only take what it's given and use that to make those concepts better. So like you put in a in a a video of like, hey news interviews, hey, presidential elections, hey, people being angry about things. Like, it can take that and morph that to something different. But it's not going to learn, like, hey, we should destroy this whole planet because it sucks. Like, it's not going to learn <laughs> that unless enough people go on there and upload, like, hey, we should do this. And then, well, then we might be in trouble. But I think uh, for the purpose that you're using it, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Which is really interesting, like just just the ways that like I talk with musicians a lot where um, even like the the notes app on your phone Mm -hmm. or the recorder on your phone can change the way that you come up with ideas and store ideas for songs. Right. You don't need a pen and paper to have an idea for a song. You can just, you know, open your phone and go and then come back to it in four days and go, what the hell was that about? And then <laughs> do you do that? Did we talk about that, by the way? Do you do that? Do you make up like, no, you make up like fake words. You don't make noises with your mouth. But do you use like yeah. the notes app on your phone to 
log ideas for songs? Did we talk about this? Um, yeah, I I did it. I actually did it um, a couple of months ago where I had a dream of a melody. Like I dreamt I was at some dude's place and he had a great stereo system and he he put on like some some song and I really liked the song and it was wasn't like anything I've I've heard before and the melody kind of stuck with me and then I I I got up in the middle of the night and uh, I grabbed my phone and I I just hummed the melody but now when I listen back to it I'm, I'm kind of like yeah, it's not that great maybe if I if I worked on it a bit and if I added something to it but um I think what I heard in my dream was was far better than what I came up with uh, after I got up. I think if you had gotten up right away, like in your dream state, and grabbed your and had the wherewithal to grab your phone and like <laughs> flesh out that whole thing, you might have come up with a real with a, a chart topper. But I think like the remnant of it after you got up is like we kind of had this, but then it's like yeah. it's like when you like when you forget to write it down at all, right? You're like, oh, we had a right. great melody. And then it's just it's just gone. Like you don't have it recorded or or noted anywhere. And you're like, man, that thing was really good. I wonder if that'll come back. Spoiler: It's not going to come back. It'll never come back. Well, I mean, there's there's been cases of where people uh, dreamt up entire songs, like uh, yesterday by by the Beatles. Um, Paul McCartney actually uh, had a dream about the song, like not with the lyrics and fully fleshed out, but the melody and then um he he figured it out on the guitar and when he played it to the other guys and and their producer and asked them hey isn't isn't this a song by by uh somebody else and they were like no that's that's yours let's let's work on it and that really it, it always makes me a bit jealous because i i would like to um to experience something like that as well well that's why he's a beetle cuz you yeah. can literally dream up better songs than we can write so right. that's why he's a beetle and we're sitting here. So Yeah. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> <laughs> I should get Paul McCartney on the show. Oh my god. Could you imagine, Fry, if in like three weeks from now, we're like, oh, who's yeah. your next guest? It's Paul McCartney. Excuse me? Wow. Oh, that'd be awesome. If you can manage that, please please just let me let me listen and just want to sit maybe, in. <laughs> yeah, sit in a bit. Yeah. That would be so cool. Man, that'd be awesome. He he's got people I can reach out to. If, yeah, why is he going to come on the show anyway? That's a pipe dream. <laughs> um, man, imagine the conversation you could have with Paul McCartney. Like, not like you could just even pick one era of the Beatles and just go yeah. for hours about that. Like, you don't right. even have to span his whole career. Like, hey, how about can we talk about this? Like this album, and you could go for like an hour. That'd be great. Or even post Beatles, like with the Wings, and oh yeah, that stuff's also amazing. Like, oh man! All right, anybody knows Paul McCartney's people? Let me know. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, stranger things have happened, Fry. Stranger things. I almost called you Paul. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm manifesting it right now. I'm calling you Paul McCartney, <laughs> Sir Paul. Sorry. Um, yeah. Anybody knows his people? Let me know. <laughs> god, that would be great. Yeah. Paul McCartney. Hey, uh, um, uh, never mind. I could talk to Paul McCartney about AI. That'd be great. <laughs> or maybe maybe just uh, create an AI, AI version of him. And no, talk to that, that feels gross. No, <laughs> it'd be funny for like five minutes. But I'm like, yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> so you have a new EP. Like I, mm -hmm. like we said, we we got there eventually. That uh, it's it'll be out by the time the show is up. And how many instrumentals? Two or three? Two this time. Two. Okay. And then uh, does Jeff Bragg sing again on all three of the other ones? Uh. That would be four or four. Um, no, no, he's singing. He's singing on three songs. Okay. And uh, my my good friend Jesse uh, from Canada is singing on um, uh, a ballad, and he also mixed the entire EP. And uh, he did a fantastic job. And he did it. Let me give a quick shout out to him. He did it completely for free because he's also a fan, and he said that um, he would he would love to do it and. His mixes are fantastic, and also the lyrics and and melodies he he wrote for the ballad, and his his vocal performance is fantastic. So I'm really happy and 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 feel blessed that um, I met him last year and that we that we worked together on on this EP. 
Wow. Shout out to Jesse. Wow. Good stuff. I love, I love great dude. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, we're doing, uh, what did I say? We're doing choice. So Jeff Bragg is on this song and Mm -hmm. I should have that. I should have Jeff on the show because I've had now, I've had you on now twice. And I think both times Jeff Bragg has been the vocalist for the song we played. Uh So I should talk to that guy about work. What's it like working with Fry? It's like, or like being a session guy. And then like working with this this Fry McDunston guy. He's a he's a little off. What's <laughs> what's that about? <laughs> I mean, he also has his own band called Sons of Alaric. So you could talk to him about his own band as well. All right, there we go. See, Fry, we're done. We're actually done our part. I'm just gonna talk to you about other people I want to talk to besides you. Like after yeah, you. If only yeah. I if only I knew Paul McCartney, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- this would be a lot more valuable for me if you knew Paul McCartney. That'd be great. <laughs> I know uh, Wes uh, Scantlin from uh, Puddle of Mud a bit, a bit. But I don't have. Bit. I don't have his email. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is a bit. Then, if you don't have a way to get in touch with him, that's a bit. <laughs> yeah, I've been on tour with him once. Oh, really? Yeah. How did that go? Um, I I sat in for a guitar player for a band that opened for Puddle of Mud, and. Um, when we were on tour, him and I got along really well, and we hung out together a lot, which kind of made the singer from the band where where I I sat in for their guitarist uh, a little uh, jealous because she she always wanted to hang out with him, and then she got a bit mad. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Wow, heartbreaker, Fry McDunston over here, unbelievable! Wow. No, but he was he was like really cool and 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 chilled, and um, he actually had this, you know, these electronic things that also people who are under house arrest get, like yes. these that where you can't leave uh, your house. He had that for um, for alcohol. Oh, like if he had drank like even a bit of alcohol, the thing would have recognized that, and he would have gotten in trouble uh, once he got back to the United States. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess that's, I mean, it's not good that he used it because he would get in, like, he'd get in trouble, but it's good for, like, monitoring intake, right? Like, that's right. the good part. The bad part is he's, he assumingly did it to not get in trouble. But the good part no, it, is it was mandatory. Like, yeah, uh, the, exactly. The cops told him to, to yeah, have uh, that. Yeah. Like, that part's not good, but, like, mon- like, there should be one where, hey, hey, buddy. You're too drunk. Cool it, right? <laughs> Who would tell that to a rock star? Come on, be honest. I don't know. Like you want you want your rock stars to be to be drunk and Do on you? drugs all the time. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like if they if they don't mess up, you kind of. I mean, back in the day, uh, I think he he he's one of the the last um, generation uh, of musicians where it was okay actually because they didn't have to manage themselves. Like my generation and and even younger guys now, we have to manage ourselves and be really responsible. Otherwise, we uh, we won't be successful because there's no more managers or like record labels um, who who take care of that stuff. So we can't really be like that anymore. But back in the day, where uh, where where he like where his record broke and and he got really famous, that was still expected. It was expected and and maybe in some ways encouraged. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he he hung out with Jimmy Page and and played with him on stage. So uh, that's that's something else, man. So he gets it. Yeah. He gets it. He he got it. He had his fun, and now he has to, you know, you got to quit. You don't want to. Never mind. Um. Yeah, that's cool, man. So you got to you get to tour. So. How does that work when you you had to sit in for another band? Like, did they call you? Did you reach out to them? Did they put out a call for like, hey, we need a guitarist, and you went mm-hmm. to an audition? What happened? Yeah, the the band contacted me because um, when I was still with my old band, Cunning Mantrap, they uh, once opened up for us, and then uh, their singer remembered me, and um, she knew that my my band had uh, broken up. And then she asked me if I, I I was interested, and I thought, yeah, this this would be this would be pretty cool. So uh, I learned their songs, and um, 
I, I think I, I had a, about a month or two um, time to, to get everything in order. And then we went on tour for, I think, a couple of weeks. And then there was a break in between. And a couple of months later, we played another show, if I'm not mistaken. And then you made her jealous because you hung out with Puddle of Mud. So yeah, <laughs> you really paid her back, Fry. You really. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can't help it if, like, if we click, you know, like uh, he he was he was fun to hang out with. Oh, I can't help it. I'm much more awesome than this person who wanted to hang out with him. Wow, Fry. Wow. <laughs> no, wow. I mean, um, there's also like something that I can't talk about. I I did him a favor. <laughs> I didn't give him alcohol. <laughs> But I supplied him with something else, and he right. was really happy and grateful for that. <laughs> and so that's why we we hung out backstage. And it was something that uh, that that's not as bad as alcohol for you. So I don't have a bad uh, a bad conscience about it. Of course, you don't have a bad conscience about it. You could people say anything to not have a bad conscience about things. <laughs> uh, I no, and and that was also something that that really helped him. Um, cope with the uh, the fact that he he wasn't allowed to drink okay all right so fry is a supplier and uh a deviant <laughs> and uh, overall a jerk i think is what we're learning today is that yeah, yeah you're kind probably of, you're kind of not a good person I yeah think that's probably yeah so uh that said we'll we'll love to have you on next year to uh <laughs> to tell more stories about how how just awful you are you're just not a yeah. Man, you know what? Forget what I said about helping Fry pay for his medical bills and his trip to the U.S. No, no, it, this guy's a piece yeah, of crap. I probably deserve that. it. Yeah. yeah, I deserve to be in pain now. <laughs> you don't deserve to have American food. I'm not going to give you a cheesesteak when you come to Philadelphia. No, no, not doing that. Uh, <laughs> but no, if you make your way over and you somehow find yourself in Philadelphia, let me know. And if I'm around, we'll have a cheesesteak together. Sound good? Absolutely. Yeah. I I heard that there's now there's one place here in Germany that um offers cheesesteaks and I always wanted to try one, but I think it wouldn't be the same. But maybe just to to get a taste of it and and see how it I would how it could maybe taste. Yeah, but you you'd get a general idea. Um but it's more like it's more about the role, which I don't think you're going to get a that type of role where you are. Right. Yeah. So you now we're see we're we're made it all the way back around. Now we're just talking about food. This is great. This is even better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're talking about things that you can't have. A real cheesesteak. <laughs> That's what you get, Fry. That is <laughs> This is what you deserve. I might you know what? I might buy one tonight. I might go when when I'm done work, I might go buy one. I might go buy a couple just for you. I'll take a picture, That's I'll nice. tag you. Be like, look what I oh, can yeah. have today, Fry. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll get something that you can get in the U.S. and, and have that and send oh, you a picture of wow. that. Wow. <laughs> wow. You should do that. You should. Turn about his fair play. Yeah. <laughs> you should, man. Why Why not? Why not? I'm sure there are several great things that I can't have that you can get around the corner. So, Yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, Döner? Or like it's, it would probably be called kebab in, in, in the U.S. as well, but it's different. It's It's kind of like kebab, but a little different. And it's... People think that it's from Turkey because, like, Turkish um, people sell it over here, but it actually was invented by German Turks in Berlin, and it got really popular here. And I think that's something that's only available in in Germany and maybe a couple of uh, other countries around us. Wow! All right, so I'll get a cheesesteak and tag you in a picture. Yeah. And you you will get I, some of that. You get, get some uh, some real kebab, I guess we could call it. <laughs> So I don't butcher yeah, another German word of yours cool. and offend everyone. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's more it's more like a, a Turkish word. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't I don't want to offend the Turks either. That's the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my goal here, Fry. Is not to like if I make an American mad, that's fine. But I don't want to create an international incident where uh, <laughs> you know someone else leaves me a one star review or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I heard about uh your your hater. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, I I forgot to tell you. I got a hater now as well, and I'm oh, really, really proud. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, what did they say? Um he pro he basically he, he tries this like every couple of days. Um he's on Facebook and he has two accounts and I know it's it's both him because they both both say the exact same thing. Yeah. 
He thinks my music is gay, and he <laughs> describes it as homocore. <laughs> and he always he's he's always posting like the same comment. And um, I mean, I I delete it right away because um, that makes him even more angry. <laughs> and he doesn't. I think he he doesn't understand the fact that once someone comments on my videos. I get notified and I see it instantly and I can delete it right <laughs> right away. So it's it's no use. And but he he keeps trying and oh. he he keeps posting like the same thing over and over again. And I think it's really funny. <laughs> oh my god, that is funny. That is funny. Oh my, but don't yeah. do that. Uh, just don't. Why would you? Why would I don't I don't know, man. Just like the 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 level of effort that it takes someone to go right. like, oh, this is gay, dude, or like. Oh, it's good. I remember, like, why? Why? Like, do literally anything else with your time. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's uh, it's just um, there. Like now, I, I I know there's a guy out there who who thinks of my music probably all the all the time, and can't wait to to get to his uh, to his computer and and send the same message over and over again, <laughs> and then he gets really mad when I delete it. Oh so my it's, god! Uh, yeah. That's fantastic. Let's see how how long he can he can do that and uh, well, well the EP is coming he'll out come in up two with days. Even more things from from when we're talking, and then this yeah. will come out a week after that, and so maybe we'll get some comments from this guy on the on the YouTube version of the show. <laughs> he's only like yeah, I mean he's he's only on Facebook or uh, uh, until now he's only uh, posted this stuff on on Facebook. Okay, and. Um, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's I, I, I've never, I never, I, I don't know, I never really got into. Well, that's not true. I kind of did, but not to the level where I was like stalking someone's stuff and right. like, oh no, they put a thing up. I gotta go right now. I'll be like, oh, this is gay. Like I never. Yeah. It just like it's funny for five seconds, and then it's like, all right, nobody cares. I don't even I don't even argue with people on the internet anymore. I don't try arguing with people in in my private life anymore because it's no use. I mean, it's it's always just a battle for words, and you can't really change people's minds anyway. And why why would you? I mean, it's it's cool that people have different ideas, and I think arguing with with complete strangers on the internet is just such a colossal waste of time. Yeah, that someone who's willing to do that has way more time and energy to devote to it than you ever will because yeah. like that's their thing and like yeah. you're trying to be like hey we're trying to have a conversation and they don't yeah. want that's not what they want they don't want a conversation they want to get a rise out of you and right. you know get you to react in a certain way and i'm just like i look man i'm i'm gonna run for president i don't have time for this i can't <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I can't do that, man. I'm, I'm you know, I'm yeah. like mid thirties. I got a kid. I can't I can't do this, man. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy talking to people on the internet, but it's uh it's so much more fun when uh when it's about when when it's when it's positive. I mean even if you don't like ag agree a hundred percent, but it like doesn't have to, to uh get like into a fight. Yeah, as long as it's maybe not even positive but productive. Right, yeah, like, it, like as right. long as as there's, you know, an end game in mind that's not I'm going to make you so mad you block me or whatever, or yeah. or I'm going to stalk you around the internet because you made me mad or whatever, something like that. Right, like it's just not, yeah. it's you know, as long as there's a productive conversation to be had, we're I think we're in agreement. We're willing to have it. Right. This is not a that's productive true. conversation, by the way. This is just not rambling nonsense for 45 minutes, but. <laughs> it, <laughs> Yeah, we're not. We don't have productive conversations on this show. We talk about food and AI, and apparently, we got more trolls. So we got more haters. So I think we've. Uh, that's good. I like that you shared that with me. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's um, like it's kind of like that that saying. Uh, even bad press is good press. I mean, like if if there's people um, getting so emotional that they spend so much time <laughs> uh, <laughs> like trolling you or hating you, then I think you're. Uh, you're doing something right. You pushed a button somewhere that uh, yeah that may that caused any kind of stir and like hey you actually like bumped me up into the sphere of people are going to see what that someone's talking about me, which is you know might be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. I love I love that you have a hater. I just I 
I love it. <laughs> That's great. Well, let me see if this this guy. Uh, no, he didn't respond again. Okay, I had my reviews <laughs> up just in case, just in yeah, case maybe yeah. he listened again. No. Um, wow. Now I'm excited to see if this guy, if if your guy, finds our thing, and and says something about it. Man, what if he I listens mean, I, to the I whole? I will app? share it on. I I will share it on Facebook yeah. once it's out, and yeah. then. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll I'll notify you uh, once he's uh, commented on it. <laughs> oh, please and, do! Uh, yeah, then you can see it for yourself. Take it, take a screenshot, and then delete it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave it up for a bit, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see it. Oh man, that'd be great. I wonder if he listens to the whole thing. Like, what if that? Like, if he listens to the whole conversation to where we get to talking about him, and he's like, "Yes, yeah. I got him. They talked about me." <laughs> yeah, we called you a loser. That's not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we didn't. I didn't even mention his name or the the name of, of his profile. Yeah, so. exactly. So <laughs> sucks to be him. How infamous can you really be? <laughs> right. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, before we get anybody else in trouble, Fry, we. Yeah. <laughs> No, this Already was great, man. got myself in trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, get ourselves in trouble, really. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, I love that we were able to do this. The universe didn't want us to do it, but we figured it out somehow. And uh, Fry McDunst did his new EP, Choice, comes out. To, well, it's out already, December 8th. So go get it. Go stream it. Go buy it. Go. Uh, are you on Bandcamp, by the way, or just like iTunes and Amazon? And oh yeah, yeah, I'm also on Bandcamp. Oh, you are. Okay. I so kind of, I kind of neglect my my profile, but I'll remember because um, I'm with DistroKid, yes. and they upload my music automatically yeah, to all the streaming service. But Bandcamp, you have to take care of that yourself, and I have to remember to put up the EP in two days there as well. All right, I will send you a message on the eighth and say, Fry, put it on Bandcamp. Yes, and then that will be if, great. Yeah, and then if you do that, then that's where I'll get it because I, I, I just that's what I prefer. That's me. I, I, as cool as a fan and an artist, I get a lot more control over what goes up there, like all the things. Right, and then it's just easier because then people can listen to the whole song before they buy it. Right, they can really know what the whole thing is before they buy it. Yeah, that's me. Anyway, all right. So go. So here we go. Get it on Bandcamp or stream it on Spotify or. Wherever you do those things, because uh, yeah. every, I don't know, million streams is a, a third of a penny for Fry's Pockets. So, oh, yeah. Something Last like year that. I made a whopping $34 with my music. Oh, so my God. Here we go. <laughs> <That's> so- <laughs> <laughs> and you have Fry has medical bills now. We can't have that. We have to get more. Yeah. So go buy the album. Go buy it. Right. And help Fry get to an American doctor. No, that's not. Wait, that's worse. Don't. <laughs> okay. No. So- <laughs> So any any final words about the song Choice, which we're going to play for the people? You won't hear it, but everybody else will. Um, any final, uh, I don't know, anything you want to prep the listeners for when they're about to hear this song? Get ready for one of my favorite riffs I have ever written. Yes, sir. That riff uh, came from a finger exercise, and it's been with me for many, many years now, and I finally decided to turn it into a song, and that's what you're about to hear. Oh, I love it. A great singable riff. I, so everyone can sing it. Tell you what, everybody, sing along to this riff, to this riff that Fry is about to, what you're about to hear, and send it to me, and we'll tag them all, we'll send them all in a video to Fry of you. Air guitaring Fry's riff. Does that sound fun, everybody? No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't. <laughs> Maybe that's fun only for me. But there we go. Fry, thanks for coming, man. This was awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was a blast. We're getting ourselves in trouble. So Fry McDunston, the, the, <laughs> tab, <laughs> the title track, I can't even finish. Get it. Go get the EP choice and hear the song and this wonderful riff. And then that's all. It's the Melting Pat on the Next Level Network.
and we're clear. I don't know what happened there, but I don't know what happened at the end there, but we're we're clear. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, that was fun, man. <laughs>